levels at all levels of football for well over 40 years now and I suppose the, the, the building blocks, the foundations of my coaching career would go back to when I uh, trained as a PE teacher. Uh, it gave me a great base and a start. Uh, I learned very quickly about planning and preparation, organisation uh, and, and, and three other key areas. How to uh, observe things, how to use a variety of communication skills and find out about how different players and later on different coaches learned uh, their learning styles and what they were preference. There was a, a big um, show at the NEC, I think that was about 2011. So that, that, that started a very healthy relationship at Southampton which snowballed and obviously uh, the coaching manual used lots of the, uh, the age group coaches at Southampton to basically show a warts and all uh, situation. So it wasn't stage matched, uh, the uh, footage was captured live, so it showed the things that the players were good at and also the mistakes that they made. So it's, it's true, uh, it's not manufactured, which I think is very, very important. Some coaches that like to get on courses, collect badges, and, and, and it really enhances the CV. Um, unfortunately, some of those types of courses don't actually use some of the information, some of the trends and, and practices that will help them develop. It, it's more of a, a collection. The second type of coach um, has the mantra of seeking excellence, the excellence that they can, can develop. Um, they are always seeking knowledge and they're like a sponge. Um, so the sponge is full of ideas. The good coaches will squeeze the sponge and keep in the things that are relevant to their career and will help their players become better and better. They are the proverbial uh, students of the game. Everybody talks about principles of play, um, but what are the real principles of play? You know, what are the important orders? So people talk about pressing, yeah, certainly a principle, but you can't always do that. So we want to give more information um, that allows um, people to think about, you know, what actually works rather than what is fashionable at the moment. If you're quite an experienced coach, I would think it would be more of a, a refresher. Uh, there might be different terminologies. I, th I think um, it, will, it will stimulate people's thinking. I think people will be challenged. And I think for the, uh, the more inexperienced coaches, it will open their eyes up to all sorts of different methods um, to make them a better coach.